Imagine you're at a movie theater and you just bought your ticket. Now you head over to the concession stand to buy some popcorn. You can get a small popcorn for $3 or a large for 7 So which one would you choose? We've all been there. You want a decent amount of popcorn, but $7 feels like a ripoff. So if you chose small, you're like most people. We've set up cameras to see what will happen when we offer the same choice to real moviegoers. Can I get you some popcorn? Sure. You can, can get, get a small. A small? Sure. Or a large for seven. I'll take the small. These are the sizes. You know what? I'll have a small one and some M&Ms. OK, sure. They have no idea we're running an experiment, and nearly everyone goes for the small. Excuse me. Sorry to bother you, but um, we're doing a little experiment. Do you think $7 is a lot of money for popcorn? Yeah. The $7 was a little out of line for popcorn. But now, we're going to see if we can influence your decision making. Here's another decision for you. You can get the small for $3, a medium for $6.50, or you can get the large for $7. So, have you made your choice? Does the large look a bit more appealing now? We've made the same change at the movie theater and stepped back to see what happens. Do you think more people will buy a large? I'll take a medium uh, sliced popcorn, please. Sweetie, yeah. it's only 50 cents more for a large. Why don't we get a large? Okay, let's get a large. I think I'll take a large. Sure. Large? Okay, Definitely we'll have a large. large. <laughs> All right. All we did was add a medium, and the large has become irresistible. Um, just a medium popcorn, please. You can get the large for 50 cents more. Okay, that'll work. Everyone is buying a large. So how do they explain it? The large looks like such a better value than the medium. <laughs> such a bargain. A bargain. For you. Right. But the deal, you still <laughs> spent more money in the net total of the night. 50 right. cents, dude. <laughs>